Hey guys, Turban Church from HolyText.org here. I have some pretty interesting news for you regarding the mark of the beast in Revelation 13, 16 to 17, and it reads, And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What I never really thought about in my mind for some strange reason having read that passage 500 times is that there will be three different marks you will be able to get. Notice how it says the mark itself, the name of the beast or the number of his name. This is brand new to me, maybe not to you, but that's not even the good part. The good part is that I just started getting this picture in my head yesterday of a lotus flower on someone's forehead. And I tried to find the image, but I couldn't. So today I prayed to God because I just kept thinking about it, and I knew deep down that it has something to do with the mark of the beast. And lo and behold, when I'm in bed with my laptop, ready to relax and fall asleep, I find it after remembering the words chemtrail and radio. <clears throat> I would not be able to find this without God, that's for sure. What's interesting here in this interview is that the woman speaks of a type of technology that sounds exactly like the mark of the beast. But to these people in their interview, they believe it's some kind of evolutionary thing mankind will have to go through in the future. Just listen to this. This is crazy. Henrik, you know, Ray Kurzweil talks about the GNR explosion, genetics, nanotechnology, and robotics. GNR. Yeah. And... How, I mean, it's anyone's guess how far advanced that is. What we, what people see in labs, in the university labs, that's one thing. Those are the people who are in the science community, but they are lay people for all intents and purposes. And they're very compartmentalized. They, they could work on a mouse gene for 10 years, you know, and they wouldn't know who is waiting above them drooling for their, <laughs> the results of their research and how that's going to be integrated into something else. Yeah. So um, the actual integration seems like we're seeing it in some of these Morgellons people who have whose bodies are living laboratories and who, I mean, a lot of these people report um, that the materials that their bodies are issuing are actually stamped they're stamped with initials or symbols or letters. Um, I mean, one guy told me, and I don't think these people are making it up because I do know these people. I've spent time with them physically, the people that I'm quoting here and there. But he said that he had a lotus flower on his scalp that uh, if you put a black light, a person who was treating him for Morgellons had the idea of putting a black light on his head and my God, this lotus flower design lit up on his scalp through his hair. And so he's marked, you know. And then they also talk about the Morgellons people, how they, the nano in them, they call it the nano in me, communicates with the nano that's somewhere else. They'll walk by a place or a, another person and they'll feel all this activity and buzzing and many people who have Morgellons can feel that it, it, it's an intelligence in them. This is how they refer to it. And I've had this come from total strangers. There was a woman in the post office once and I was online and you know it's California so people have on t-shirts and whatnot and she had all these red splotches on her arms and she noticed me looking at them because I'm very curious and when I see this I can't help looking and trying to figure out what it is and she said oh yes I have this terrible rash and I said really she was willing to talk about it and she said yes and my dermatologist you should see he has to tweeze these fibers out of it so I said to her could you meet me outside when we're done and she said sure so I met her outside. I said, do you know what Morgellons is? And she said, well, I've kind of heard of it. And she told me, she said, whatever this is, it's alive in me. I can feel it. It's moving around. It's, it's like trying to talk to me. And she wasn't disturbed by it. That's the other thing. I guess you get to a point where you can't leave it and it can't leave you. So, <laughs> you know, 
you have to live with it. But they all say it's alive. Okay, guys, that is absolutely amazing and creepy and weird and just confirms so many scriptures and visions from people. The actual nanorobotics is some kind of AI or demonically influenced technology that has intelligence and speak to the host body. They can actually hear these things and they feel that they're intelligent and want to talk to them and communicate with them. I will read a quote from Maurice Sclair's vision on the mark of the beast and how people behave after they take it. There was this hologram movie, kind of, where the Antichrist was three-dimensional. It was like he was in front of you, but he wasn't. I, was, I have never seen technology quite this advanced. They said, you're going to be all right. We'll take care of you. Just bow down on your knees and receive me. Almost like he's Lord, but he said it in such a way that it didn't seem like a big deal, but it was. They could not touch the person until they got down on their knees, but when they got down on their knees, there was this automatic thing that the God stamped. It looked like an electronic tattoo or stamp. I believe in some parts of the world it was on their, on their forehead, some part was on their hand, the right hand, but I saw a forehead. forehead. And then they went into this room in the back and they had food and they could eat and they slept. But when they came out, they were like zombies. They had lost their mind. They were in a complete takeover like in the iRobot movie. It was like a taking over of the whole being. They're, they're, they lost their soul. You could tell many of them, the ones that were young, the ones that were fit, were immediately brought into the military, this police force, and they were given weapons. They were like zombies. They went out and joined the police that they were rounding everyone up. So that's pretty interesting, guys. Uh, the people that are going to round up is, you know, Christians that haven't been caught yet. Um, this just confirms a couple of other visions that I've been reading people have had where they had to, uh, <clears throat> they had their friends and family hunt them. Um... It was just creepy. And another vision said that they stood in line to take, to become host bodies for demons. And I believe this isn't just technology, but I believe it, it's a lot of spiritual things in this as well. And it gives the demons some kind of access to your body somehow. I'm not sure how that works. But, uh,. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Leave a comment below, subscribe and like the video, and visit my website at holytext.org. God bless you guys, and take care. In Jesus' name, amen.